My name is Michelle Carismi. I'm the founder and CEO of JMC Electrical Contractor, LLC. We are a 100% woman-owned union electrical contracting firm. We work out of um, Michigan right now. We do commercial, industrial, and institutional electrical installations and services. And currently, we just started up a low voltage division, which does sound and communication and security. I was very shy. I would call it a, a debilitating disease. I was a very intelligent student, smart, straight A's, but um, very, very shy. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't even drive on a freeway or an expressway until I was 30 years old because I was scared to death to do that. I didn't start college until I was 30 because I was afraid to figure out how to do that. But then again, necessity hits. I was divorced at 30. I had three children to raise and I needed to uh, do something to make more money. And the only thing I could think of at that time was go to school. So that's what I did. And with each class that I took, it was like I kind of come out of my shell a little bit. I think my education, as I, I grew in my education, I also grew in knowledge. And I think that was what was important for me, was that to recognize that maybe I didn't have all the answers, but I could reach out to people who did. And so, um, like I said, I always had this this need to want to be my own boss and to run my own company. And then necessity came along, so it's like you need to do these things. And I wasn't real aggressive in going out and doing it. Uh, situations happened, and um, you know, I just took advantage of them. And that was kind of it, just, just knowing when there's an opportunity and just getting over that fear or pushing through that fear to uh, take that opportunity and run with it. It was 2009. Construction was really low, and my husband was an electrician, a master electrician, and his company was suffering, just like a lot of other electrical companies at the time, and he wasn't being paid. So I tended to make a rude comment that I thought I could run a company better than his boss, and he said, go ahead, go give it a try. Take the contractor's exam, and I'll come and work for you. So that's pretty much what I did. We started out of the basement, um, came home from learning that I had passed the test and st started my company out of the basement because that's where my computer was set up. Um, I hired my husband, hired um, an estimator a couple of months later, and we just started real slow and low and, and worked from there. I think you have to have a, a, a passion and that passion has to override that fear. Um, it, it does help if you have a need. In my case, we needed money. And um, that was the best opportunity and best way for us to get it. I looked around and saw that I, we didn't have anything. We were living you know, paycheck to paycheck. So I really didn't have anything to lose. And um, my husband will say, well, you're going to take this risk or you're going to do this. And why are you doing that? And I'm like, well, we started with nothing. I had absolutely nothing at all except for the house that I lived in and a day-to-day -day paycheck, and you had no money coming in whatsoever. What do I have to lose? Even if I lost everything right now, I'm back where I started. And so that's not that bad. So it, it kind of allays that fear a little bit and lets you continue to go on.